not far from today's busy, often disconnected world, you'll find a farm community striving to do what's right, not only for themselves, but for neighbors, the land, and for generations to come. The three words that describe a farmer. Integrity, innovation, family. Jerry Fry and his son Bruce are fourth and fifth generation wine grape farmers. Since day one, you know, I've always wanted to be a farmer. I knew from when I was a little kid, from two to three years old, I'd first thing I'd go do is go play with my tractors out in the out in the dirt. Like my dad said, it's it's in your blood. Resourceful is one of Jerry's three words. Well, a lot of things my dad, uh, you know, passed on to me, and one was to save things. You look for something that would make things work better or to fix something. You know, you had a need and you figured out a way to solve it. In a way, you're kind of a, an engineer and uh, an inventor in some ways. Yeah, that old bonle has been around for a while, kind of like farmers, they stick around, they don't disappear. God said I need somebody who can shape an axe handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay wire feed sacks and shoe scraps. So God made a farmer. As old as the Model A duster is, there are vines on the Moorfry Ranch even older. When I go out through the day and walk through them or drive by them and wish they could talk to you, how they're feeling today, you know, what the last 10 years felt like, you need some more water, you need some more fertilizer, talk to me, you know. Each little guy is unique. It's like I used to tell our pruners how to prune them. I says, you look at, it's just like a barber when you walk into the barber shop, every head's different and you gotta decide how to, how to trim this one. And so, this one's pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one's, yeah. There's not much, not much to prune off of this one, so. Father and son. <laughs> doing what they love, together. Or as Jerry likes to say. Uh, you know, we begin as dust and we end as dust and we garden in the middle. <laughs> so God made a farmer.